everyone, how's everybody doing? It's time for another exciting video from RK Loves Gadgets. And I want to show you something that's pretty interesting. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this, what this thing is, or what brand it is, or what model this is. Um, it's obviously some kind of torch, or lantern, or uh, a light, or something. Um, it is quite cool actually, and there is actually a bit of a story behind this. Um, I used to have one, I used to have one of these, excuse me, um, I used to have one of these as, as, a, in, as a child, which is quite interesting. Um, I've probably, when I was about three years old or four years old, I used, I used, I used to have this, uh, uh, one of these. Um, so, I found this in the charity shop yesterday, and it was only two pounds. In fact, the price tag is still on there. I'll take that off. Uh, two pounds, which is actually quite a, a bargain, and as you can see, it's in very good condition. Except for when I first bought it, the the light bulb was was loose. In fact, it was moving around inside. It had actually come out of its little socket, so I had to take this front uh, this this front uh, thingy off. In fact, I'll show you how to do that later. Uh, I put the bulb back in, and surprisingly, it actually does work. It, the whole thing does actually work. The bulb is still good. I put new batteries in it, and it, surprisingly for the age, the batteries haven't corroded. They were probably a tiny little bit dirty, but it, that was, you know, a minor thing. I put new batteries in it, and it worked. Um, yeah, but when I found this in the charity shop, I recognised this immediately. I recognised it being the, the toy that I had when I was a child and I was like, I've got to get this. This has got to bring back this is gonna bring back a lot of nos nostalgia nostalgia, a lot of childhood childhood memories. So looking at this, you see this is this this round thing, this is the like it looks like a dome, that's where the light that's where the light shines out of. And then this thing up here, I don't know what that is. Probably must have been a logo at some point, I don't know. You've got this little knob down here, that's how it turns on and off. You've got nice handles on either side, but then you've got this handle at the top. And that's how you can carry it. So I think it's probably like a lantern, I really don't know. If anybody recognises this, feel free to tell me in the comments if you know any anything more about this. This is on the back, you've got all, all these buttons back here. And it says on off because there's a like a microphone button here, and this actually makes animal noises. So you've got all these buttons back here. You've got like an elephant and um, a monkey, a bird, and then you've got m the microphone, a lion, and uh, a dog. And then there's a like a music, like a musical note or something. Uh, an eagle. I think it's a, a more of a cuckoo, but it's actually an eagle. It looks like an eagle. And you've got a pig. And this this button up here, if you push it, you see that the top pops up. It's got like a little character in there. And this is like a little lever thing. I'll show you what that does. So this this knob here has three positions. So if I turn it to the left, okay, and the microphone doesn't seem to work all that well. So if I press the button in, you yeah. You'll see that it has. It does work. I'm speaking into it now. Hello? But sometimes it does give a bit of um, feedback, as it's doing right now. See? I think it when you get it close to the speaker, it does, because the speaker is around there. So that's the microphone. And you can go through all the sound effects. And you'll see that the light flashes when you press any of these buttons to get the sound. So that was the elephant. That's the monkey. That's the bird. And then, obviously, you ha like I said, there's the microphone button, so that's the lion. And then the dog, and then you've got I don't know what that song is. It just sounds like a, a few a, a series of beats, but you could probably see that the light flashes with that. 
And look, there's that eagle that said it sounds like a cuckoo because it actually makes a noise like a cuckoo. And, the pig. and you just, like I said, this uh, top pops up and you can see. Uh, but when you move this little lever, uh, this little, it's like a little joystick so, uh, sort of thing. It turns. So if I move it one way. some kind of laugh or something, like an evil laugh. If I move it the other way, it's like a like a scream. And I turn it, so that's uh, one feature. Um, if I turn it the other way, now you'll see that the light has actually come on. And if I press any of these buttons, the light stays on. It doesn't, it doesn't flash or anything. So yeah, the light the light stays on there on that setting. So you could probably use this use this, use it as a torch for look uh, for using in the dark. I don't know, but you get the idea. It's you know not a lot to it. It's just uh, you know very simple. Where you just press the buttons, you get all the different noises and stuff. So there's the bottom. Now this does not ha this barely has a lot of information on this. This is the back. This is the bottom side of the of it. You see that it's got barely nothing actually. All it is is the usual C E symbol, and then you've got Made in China down there. This is Geeky talking across in the background. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the information it has. I don't think it's very popular. Oh, and for those of you who want to know how to change the light bulb, this is how to do it. So you need to get a screwdriver, and if you look around the edge of the light, uh, the light cover, you'll see there's a uh, a screw up there, and uh, probably about the ten o'clock position. You need to undo. So there's a screw. You need to undo, so you basically need to undo the, the, this screw here, like that. I can. So you undo the screw like that, and you twist the light um, filter like this. It comes off like that. And that's what it looks like. I love this. Uh, you can actually feel this pattern on the inside like that. It, you know. You, as you can, as you look at this light, you'll see that it looks like lines going uh, down, and then you've got this little circle in the middle that's uh, that's ahead of the bulb. So that's what the um, inside of the the light filter look like. And if you look in here, that's the that's where the bulb is. It's like one of those torch bulbs. So you have to twist it, and it comes out like that. So that's a little bulb. Oh, nearly dropped it. I hope you can see that okay. Just put that in there. Make sure it still works, yes. It's quite bright actually. I don't know what voltage that bulb that bulb is, but it is quite bright. I don't know what voltage it is, so if you ever need to replace the bulb then yeah. Just put that back on there. Uh there you go. And then you just twist it and lock it in place. And you do the screw up and that's what holds the um the cover in place. So do that, tighten it up. There you go. That's all done up. So yeah, that's that's basically how to change the bulb. Very simple. Very you know very um, straightforward. Like I said, you'll need to figure out what voltage that bulb is, but I'm sure you will have no problems with that. I'm sure many electronic stores will probably sell bulbs like that. You know, this is obviously from the 90s, and it, I'd, I'd say it is definitely from the 90s, because obviously it's probably in around the late, late 90s, probably 1999 was when I was four years old, so this was obviously made in the late 90s so these things you would use these old torch bulbs before everything 
started using LEDs. So, but it's quite a nice. Oh, microphone was on. But it's quite a nice light actually. It's quite bright, even with the with the uh, cover on. It is still quite bright. I don't know if you can see that through the camera, but I can tell that through my naked eyes that that is that is actually um, quite bright. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this uh, about this thing. If anybody knows anything, any further information about it, like when it was made, when uh, like when it was manufactured, what year it was manufactured, because I don't think there is anything on this that says when this was made. So. If anybody, if anybody has any um, uh, any further information about it, please let me know. But apart from that, I think that should pretty much be it. And yes, this this is bringing back some some old childhood memories. This really is, really is bringing back some a lot of nostalgia from my childhood. So I was pleased. Uh, so I'm pleased to have found this in the charity shop for a good bargain as well. So yeah. I definitely think this, uh, this this should make an interesting video, especially for those of you who are a vintage toy collector or for someone who would like to have this for uh, to entertain their small child or some you know someone uh, you know was just something for nostalgic purposes in case you had one as a kid. I certainly found it you know I certainly got it for my nostalgic purposes because I used to have one. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So if anybody has any uh, um, any questions, by all means, feel free to ask me. Apart from that, that should be it. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on push notifications. And as always, see you all very soon.